Hi, I'm Amy Campbell. The Ark of Katy is 30 years old on August 2nd. 30 years ago, we received sanction from the state of Texas as a nonprofit organization. From day one, we focused on creating opportunities for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities to reach their full potential and engage fully in our community throughout their lifetime. The idea for the Ark of Katy formed in 1989 when staff from the Katy Independent School District Special Education Department hosted a meeting about the national organization now known as the Ark. I was pleased to be at that meeting and to see the Ark of Katy grow. The original 38 members of the Ark of Katy focused on inclusion of students with disabilities, with guardianship, and with estate planning. These topics continue to be important to families today, and we continue to discuss them in our Empowerment Through Knowledge sessions. In the early days, the Ark of Katy also provided resources to educators, and they hosted dances, parties, and picnics for teens and adults with IDD and their families. In February of 2005, the Ark of Katy opened its first activity day program during the school year and a summer program for adults and teens. These programs have grown now and are offered five days a week. The Ark of Katy has been blessed with so many community partners throughout the years. We met at different locations in our community and our first permanent location for the adult day program was at the YMCA Camp Cinco. And the Monty Ballard YMCA in, Camp, in Cinco Ranch has, uh, has also provided bus transportation and gyms for our activities and YMCA staff helped us with fitness programs and even helped our participants fly in the Camp Cinco ropes course. And they loved that, that was fun. Uh, we've also been fortunate that local schools and churches and businesses and, and community groups shared their space with us. For example, Cornerstone Presbyterian Church provided our summer program space for several years and Kingsland Baptist Church generously provided us a temporary space essential to continue our program when Camp Cinco was flooded by heavy rain events and then by Hurricane Harvey in 2017. We moved to leased space on 10th Street in Old Town Katy on January 4th, 2018, and now we meet there year round. With the help from our board of directors and parents, and participants, community donations, we transformed an empty space. This was an empty space. Um, and we transformed it into an inviting gathering place. We built our own small fleet of four buses during the past decade with donations from the sales of the Green Beans and Guacamole Cookbook compiled by participant Austin Hansen and his mother Belinda Hillhouse and from several other generous supporters. Today, our participants range from 16 to 60 plus. They live in the Harris County, Fort Bend, and Waller counties of Texas, and they represent a rich diversity of ethnic, racial, and religious backgrounds. Our participants are engaged, active members of our community. They enjoy experience with their friends, visiting area attractions, participating in local events, healthy activities, and community service projects. We work to conquer the social isolation that people with IDD often experience by delivering high quality, safe, healthy, and affordable opportunities for social enrichment. And although our regular program schedule was interrupted in March of 2020 in response to the COVID-19 global pandemic, our board and volunteers, staff, family, and participants once again are demonstrating resilience to crisis and the ability to find solutions to challenges. As we engage our participants online and in our parking lot drive through events, we're really looking forward to meeting again in person. And as we celebrate a strong history of more than 30 years, we focus on the future. Join us as we plan to carry out our next 30 years.